This is Kenneth Duran of the Los Angeles Times, and this is my DVD pick of the week. The lore of the unknown is very strong, and this week I want to highlight three DVDs of films I have not seen, but I'm very curious about. Three film noirs with strong casts. All three films are distributed on DVD by Ala Films, a company with very interesting and eclectic taste. The earliest of these films from 1949 is Rope of Sand, directed by William Dieterle. It stars Burt Lancaster, Peter Lorre, Sam Jaffe, and Claude Rains. It's a fabulous cast and a story of seduction and betrayal in a North African city. Come on, then. And you, you will be charged with criminal treason, sending me into a trap with a counterfeit map. You won't bother to deny it, will you, mademoiselle? No. I will not deny it. I was helping him, but apparently not in the way I thought. Oh. Dr. Hunter! Get up. Come on. Get up. Let him alone. evidence. Send in a guard. The next year, 1950, we have Union Station. It stars Nancy Olsen and William Holden. It's about crime and punishment at a Chicago train station, and it's directed by Rudolf Maté. Pioneer Limited, car 82, compartment 4. Oh, we don't handle train baggage here. Well, that's the parcel room, ain't it? Uh, take it to the one on the other side. Bill, that isn't the same suitcase. That piece of cloth that may be Lorna's coat. Follow me. Parcel room. What's with that messenger? He wanted to check through for a train, Lieutenant. We don't handle train baggage on this side. behind you, isn't he? What? All right, get back. Oh! Finally, in 1951, there's the atmospherically named Dark City, also directed by William Dieterle. It's got Charlton Heston and Elizabeth Scott, and this story involves crooked gamblers and deranged revenge seekers. We got here in time to get you a doctor instead of an undertaker. How are you, all right? Yeah, fine. <laughs> well, Danny, we took your advice and used you as a decoy. You certainly didn't leave us much margin of safety. Nothing to worry about, Captain. Who ever heard of a dead, dead decoy? Uh, 
hell of Victoria.